What is up, you guys? This is your boy Andy Matrix. I talk about anime, manga, video games, geek culture, and Japanese culture. So here we have another live action in the making. Uh, so anybody, any Voltron fans, if you are a Voltron fan, please comment below and let me know because I grew up on Voltron. Voltron was the absolute shit back then in the 90s. Oh my goodness. I, I think I had the toys at some point, right? Um, Voltron, it, it, I mean, it was absolutely... It, that and Power Rangers, it was like... Actually, Voltron was better than the Power Rangers, right? It was just better than the Power Rangers uh, overall. And um, it has some remakes. You know, Netflix uh, had a, a remake. You know, the animated series, which was pretty good. It was all right. I mean, it was kind of, it was really cheesy. Uh, it had eight seasons. It, it went for a long time, but I don't know. I wasn't feeling it all that much. There was a CG Voltron, Voltron movie that was made, but I don't think anybody paid attention to that. However, now is good. there's going to be a live action with Raw Marshall. Thurber, Thurber to direct Ignite's Bidding War. Right? And uh, said Thurber, the filmmaker behind the Netflix hit Red Notice, is attached to the co, co write and direct of the project, which will be produced by Todd Liverman and David Hoverman, as well as World Events Production, Bob Coupler. Right? So. I'm not really excited for this. I mean, I'm sure a lot of people aren't. <laughs> like, um, I, I guess anime fans are really jaded when it comes to like live action adaptations, you know. Um, and this could work. To be fair, to be fair, this could work because if you think about it, um, we had the Transformers movie. You know, if they use the same technology that they use, that they use with Transformers, this could actually work. You know, it could actually look really good. Uh, but then there is Hollywood, of course. <laughs> <laughs> but then there is Hollywood who could always messes it up with their ignorance of anime and really what they want to do is just get closer to anime this really is the closest that they can get to to anime because they cannot own Japan they cannot own Japan and guys actually China will own Japan before America does right we got Tencent already you know investing into Japanese companies like Toei and a couple of other animation companies <coughs> right so you know the way that the way that america sees it the way that the west sees it is if they cannot own anime they're gonna buy the rights to the movies and actually there's been some and there's there's been some you know japanese businessmen who are who are you know who are okay with this because of japan gets to make money but ultimately ultimately the anime is more profitable however you know, putting a movie out in theaters and making a couple of hundred millions, it's, hey, it's good too. <laughs> it's good business. So the Japan kind of gets what they want. It's Hollywood that loses because, you know, here in America, we're just like, you know, fuck you guys. You keep fucking up anime and making these stupid live, live, live action adaptations, but whatever. Um, I don't know if I talked about this before, but um, there's also a Beyblade movie in the making. <laughs> I never thought, you know, making a movie out of spinning tops, uh, it doesn't really look good to me. But hey, who knows? There's also the Mega Man live action movie that's in the making. Uh, that's actually going to Netflix. And we already know what Netflix does with live action movies. However, the Gundam live action movies, if, if, it, if it ends up being like Pacific Rim, if it ends up being like Pacific Rim by, by Guillermo del Toro, this could be really, really good. Right? I'm actually hype. Well, not really hype because, you know, there's always that. And th there's always that, you know, that side, you know, the the, the possible fuck up from Netflix because it is it is going to go on Netflix, right? A live action Gundam film, right? They already got some concept art for it. Uh, hopefully it's like Pacific Rim. So I'm not that hype for it, but I do want to see it. It is on Netflix. So, I mean, why the heck not? Okay. So... These are the live actions that are in the making. There's actually a couple of more others. There's the, um, what's it? There's the Your Name live action movie. And actually, Your Name, they're giving it the Death Note treatment, by the way. Your Name <laughs> is getting the Death Note treatment because they're going to make an American version of it instead of the Japanese version, right? So it's going to be a live action with American characters. And they're saying that it's going to take, like, it's going to be in some town. 
in California. Maybe I don't have all the details, but it already sounds awful to me. Okay. Uh, but the Voltron live action movie could be good. You know, I don't think it's going to be better than the original anime, but hey, who the fuck knows? Um, we got the Beyblade. That's going to be shit. I think Netflix probably going to mess up the Mega Man live action. Um, who knows? Because he's a robot, you know, I don't know. They might say that he's like a gay robot or they might, I don't know, do like a whole transgender thing on him. Um, but Gundam, li Gundam live action. Hey, who knows? Actually, you know, they already have, uh, you know, a live action one in Japan. So, actually, kind of think of it. I'd rather much go to Japan in uh, Yokohama and see the real thing. But it does cost more money. All right, and I'm going to leave it right there, guys. What do you guys think about this, uh, you know, about these live actions, especially the Voltron, <laughs> the super popular Voltron? Uh, they always try to profit off of it because, you know, it's a 90s. It's a 90s and 80s IP. So, of course, they're going to try to, like, juice it, right? But whatever your thoughts are, comment below. Tell me what you think. Like this video. Also, guys, I am on Rumble. Follow me on Rumble. Okay, it's an alternative video uh, website to YouTube. Right, YouTube is getting really strict. It's getting more and more complicated. Every year, they always add new rules. So follow me on Rumble and Odyssey. Odyssey is really good. I really like the format in Odyssey. I'm on the I'm, I'm on both of these platforms if you guys want to want to follow me there. So yeah, and uh, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell um, for future notifications. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for watching. This is Andy Matrix. Godspeed.